It's 7 o'clock, and the station that's on your side is on your schedule. 8 at 7 begins now. It is not exactly cocktail party conversation, but the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in the world is worth talking about. Colon cancer strikes more than a million people each year worldwide, and with March being Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, we thought you deserved to be part of the dialogue, too. At WFLA, Keith Browning is one of the young guns, a 27-year-old producer who puts newscasts on the air in the nation's 14th largest market every night. But the professional odds aren't the only ones he's beat at such a young age. Keith is also a cancer survivor. I'm still a little bit stunned that this happened to me. Just months after getting married, Keith, who'd been suffering from unexplained weight loss and stomach issues, got a colonoscopy. That's when I found the tumor, and I was 23 years old when I was diagnosed. The verdict? Colorectal cancer, one of the most commonly diagnosed yet rarely talked about cancers in the country. I usually tell people it's intestinal, but it's not. It's colorectal. And I don't really say that that much. Bridget Newman got her diagnosis two years ago at age 49, and now with the help of her doctor, John Koval at Tampa Bay Radiation Oncology. Hi, Bridget. How are you? Good. Give me a hug. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. She urges anyone who will listen to be their own best advocate. There is a way that you can push colonoscopies, and I didn't know that either, that you can go and recommend to your doctor that you believe that you need a colonoscopy for whatever reason. Oh, it's very treatable and very curable of Cotterelli for sure. Dr. Koval says symptoms include chronic weakness, weight loss, cramping, a change in the consistency and color of your stool, and often blood in the stool. People just ignore them, mm -hmm. you know, and it's not that they don't want to talk about them or don't want to go to the doctor, but they just ignore the signs and symptoms mm -hmm. until it gets to be a thing that could be a real problem. Keith didn't ignore his symptoms. The fact that I went and got a colonoscopy is really what saved my life. And now he has even more to live for. Something to know here, about 90% of new cases of colorectal cancer do occur in people over the age of 50, but this cancer does not discriminate. Keith and Bridget are both examples. It can strike men and women at any age, so talk to your doctor. We're gonna